What's up everyone, my name is Will and I'm a developer advocate at Off0 by Okta. If you aren't familiar with Off0 by Okta, our platform helps developers manage authentication and authorization securely within their applications. And that's where Off0 Actions come into play. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. Off0 Actions lets you extend and customize your authentication and authorization functionality beyond what's offered out of the box when you set up with Off0. Actions lets you interrupt the authentication flow of Off0 and add in custom code that allow you to create custom functionality that'll be right for your needs. And since Off0 is handling the heavy lifting of performance, maintenance, security, hosting the code, storing secrets, and things like that, all you have to worry about is building features that your users love. I think the best way to show you just how cool actions are is to get our hands dirty and create an action. So let's go. So the first thing we'll do is head to offzero.com. If you don't already have an off zero account, you can use the link in the description to sign up for a free account. If you already have an account, go ahead and click login. If this is your first time creating an off zero account, you have to create a tenant first. A tenant is the place where all of your applications that you create will be kept. You can also create multiple tenants if you need to. Once you've created a tenant, you'll be brought here to the Auth0 dashboard. You can use the Auth0 dashboard to create new applications, manage users, change up the branding. And you can also try out your login box without having to create a new application. And that is what we're going to do today. We're going to use the try your login box because I want this video to focus on actions and not setting up an off zero account and an off zero application and everything like that. If that's something you are interested in, you can check out our developer resources where it will show you how to set up an application and secure it with off zero. So I'm going to click try it now for the people who don't know when you have an application set up with off zero, when it's time to authenticate that user when they log in, you're actually redirected to the Auth0 universal login. So you don't have to create your own form um, and handle that data. It's redirected to Auth0 and then the user is authenticated with Auth0 and then redirected back to your application. And this is what the universal login screen looks like. Now it doesn't always look like this, I was doing another demo and I chose like really bright colors, um, but normally it doesn't look like this. I'm gonna give you a crash course in actions. We're gonna to try to use the majority of the features. We're going to add an NPM package. We're going to test the action. We're going to store a secret. Just to give you an example of all the things that you can do within the actions platform. So the action we're gonna to create today will send a message to Slack when a new user registers with our application. So the first thing you need is a channel created in Slack that you are the admin of. Once you have a channel that you're the admin of, head over to api.slack.com and then click create an app. Then when you click create an app, the create an app modal will pop up. We'll click on from scratch and then let's give it a name. We'll say off zero Slack. Then we're gonna pick a workspace for our application and I'm going to do wheels coding. Then we'll click create app. On the basic information page, let's scroll down to incoming webhooks. Click on that. Now let's activate incoming webhooks by clicking the radio button to on. And then scroll down, we're gonna need a webhook URL. Now this webhook URL is what we're going to use to store as the secret in our Auth0 action. So click add new webhook to workspace. Then it'll ask you what channel you want to post on and I'll put general and click allow. Then you get that green success message and then copy the webhook URL. Now make sure that this URL is safe, stored somewhere secure. Do not put this anywhere public. Okay, now we have what we need from Slack to create the Auth0 action. 
So let's head back to the off zero dashboard and let's create our first action. So on the left hand menu, go to actions, click library, and now let's click build custom. So we're going to name this send Slack message. It's going to ask you what trigger you want to use. So actions is based on triggers. There are different trigger points that you can use to interrupt their flow and have your action run. So right now it's on login post login. There's machine to machine, pre-user registration, post-user registration. And pre-user is before the user gets saved to the database. So this might be if you want to add some profile information. Post-user registration is after the user is saved to the database. So this is the one that we're going to choose because this is when we want the message to be sent when the user is actually saved to the database. And there's post change password and send phone message. So let's select post user registration. The runtime will be node 16. Let's click create. So this will take us to the actions code editor. This is an in browser code editor that you're able to use to write the custom logic for your action. Here we have the on execute post user registration function. This function that appears here will be different depending on which action you select. This is an asynchronous function and it's also passing in the event object, which has details about the context of the newly created user. Then that's the API object, which includes methods to change the behavior after sign up. Before we write any code, let's store our webhook URL as a secret by going to the left hand side of the code editor, clicking on the secrets menu, click add secret, and we're going to go slack webhook URL um, and then I'm going to paste in that value and then we'll click create. In order for us to be able to send the Slack message, we're going to install an NPM package called Slack Notify, which is a node wrapper around the Webhook API. So let's click the dependencies button on the left hand side of the code editor, click add dependency, and we're going to do Slack Notify. I'm going to leave version empty and it'll default to the latest version. Then click create. And then X out of the dependencies menu. Now let's write some code. So the first thing I'm going to do is require Slack notify. Do const init Slack notify equals require Slack notify. All right. And inside the function, I'm going to paste some code. And it's a lot easier to paste it in instead of having you watch me type everything out one by one. So I'm going to initialize Slack notify. I'm going to assign it to the name of Slack and I'm going to pass in the Slack webhook URL and notice that we access the Slack webhook URL using the event object. So we go event.secrets.slackwebhookurl and that's how we get access to that secret that we created earlier. Next, we're going to create a variable called message and we're going to use a template string of new user and we're going to pass in event.user.email. So whatever email the user uses when they register for your application will be accessed with the event object. And then we'll call Slack success method and pass it in an object with a property of text and the value of the message variable that we set up here. Before we deploy the action, we can test it out in the actions code editor to make sure it's working as intended. All right, so I have the off zero dashboard on the left and our Slack channel on the right. So let's click the play button to test. And this will simulate a call to the action. So let's scroll down to run. And it sends a message of new user J plus Smith at example.com from the off zero Slack app. There's no error messages. So let's X out of there And here in the testing menu, you get access to the event object. And if you go down to user and email, this will be the example email that we have set there. So now we know that the action is working properly. We can X out of the test menu. 
and let's bring the actions page back in full screen then let's click deploy when you click deploy add to flow will show up we're not going to use that today just because i want to demo how you can access the flows on your own so on the right hand side under action go to flows this will show you each trigger that will start the flow for your action to run we'll use a post user registration for this particular action the flow editor is drag and drop so on the right hand side we'll go to custom then we have the send slack message we'll grab it drag it drop it here in between you to registered and the action being completed and then we will click apply and now the changes are live and now we're able to test them out so let's bring slack back up it's going to be on the right side on the left side we have the r0 dashboard so let's go back to the menu on the left hand side click getting started so back on the getting started section i'm going to scroll down click try your login box this will take you to the off zero universal login and it defaults to logging in but let's click sign up so i'll create a new email and password click continue as you can see the off zero slack app sent us a message with the new user and the email address that i used to sign up with and on off zero's test page it shows that it works and i'll click take me back to the dashboard all right so that is all for your actions crash course so just to recap you're able to use off zero actions to send a message to slack when a new user registers we use the post user registration action. We stored a secret from Slack with the webhook URL, as well as use the Slack notify NPM package. And we were able to test the action before we deployed it. We added it to the post user registration flow using the drag and drop editor and tested everything out inside of the off zero dashboard. As you can see, Actions is very powerful and gives you lots of features as a developer. You can also use Actions to send emails when the user changes their password, linking with the email client like SendGrid. You can also use Actions to redirect users to a different URL to view an announcement or view a consent form or something of that nature and redirect back to your application. Actions even has the ability for you to catch tokens so you don't have to continually request a token and be able to access the information a lot faster as well. And there are also pre-made actions that you can add as integrations to your application and even you can write your own integrations and partner with Off0 and get those actions added as integrations as well. So hopefully that gave you ideas of some actions that you can use in your applications. If you wanna learn more about actions, I will definitely put a link to the docs in the description so you can read all about the API object, the event object, and the different triggers and create an action of your own. And if you do create a cool action, please don't hesitate to let me know. I would love to see what you come up with. Until next time.